Do you love coffee and Monero as much as we do? Consider making gratuitous.org your daily cup. Pay with Monero for premium fresh beans, and if you like what you taste, send a digital cash tip directly to the Guatemalan farmers that made it possible. Proceeds help us grow this channel, Gratuitous, and Monero. This week on Monero Talk is sponsored by Cake Wallet. Store, send, receive, and exchange your Monero and Bitcoin safely on iOS and Android too. Cake Wallet is open source and you always control your own keys. And by Sweetwater Digital Asset Consulting, connecting new money with old money since 2018. Cake Wallet, Sweetwater Digital are trusted and verified by the Monero community. Monero Talk is also made possible from contributions by viewers and listeners like you. And supporting us is easier than ever by typing in monerotalk.crypto in your Cake Wallet send address field to send us a tip. This week on Monero Talk. Douglas Tooman checks in with Vic Sharma, founder of Cake Wallet, to discuss the controversial news that dropped this week that they obtained a grant from the Zcash Foundation to add Zcash to Cake. Cake received blowback from the Monero community and reacted by pivoting and announcing Cake Wallet will now develop three wallets. Cake Original, which will continue to evolve down its multi-coin pro privacy path, a separate Zcash wallet, and most exciting, a separate Monero wallet for Monero purists, which they will be focusing on first and hope to launch in the next few months. We will continue to recommend Cake Wallet, who sponsors the show, as they have yet again showed a devotion to building tools and services for Monero purists like us. Monero Talk starts now. All right, Vic. Hey, Doug. How you doing? Nice shirt, man. I know we're both wearing the same original shirt. The original. I only wear the originals. No offense. Yeah. I only wear the original. Yeah. That's fine. It is the best. The original is always the best. Yeah. Can we get you to go back to the original logo across the board? No. Across the board. I mean, I guess we could in the Monero only upcoming Monero only app. Oh, okay. That would yeah. be nice. Actually, that'd be a nice touch. Yeah, actually, we're mulling over different logos for that. It'll definitely have the Monero M. Okay. So we're just looking at various designs right now. So uh, do, this thing, did you think it was going to blow up like this to this point where the community would be, uh, you know, that up in arms? Or what were you I, I, when you put it out? No, I, I expected some pushback for sure. Um, and I assume you're talking about the Zcash thing. Yeah, I don't um, think we need to say it. We'll just call it <laughs> You don't want to mention it. Uh, that thing, yeah. Um, With the Chris Scott, I don't know. We were de we were debating that earlier. I don't know if it's worse. It's good. Yeah. No, I mean, I knew there's going to be some pushback for sure, but I did not expect um, this much pushback. So, but I, I see it as a positive. I mean, uh, to see so many people be passionate about something we made, a product that we made, you know, it feels good. I mean, obviously the the type of things they were saying, uh, you know, some things I agree with, some things I disagree with, but overall, I think this, you know, as I said in my post, it shows so much passion. It's yeah, good to see I, that. How about you have a ton of, what, how many users do you have right now, approximately? I mean, we have close to 200,000 downloads. Yeah, that's And uh, we have, you know, 50 to 60,000 active sessions per week. So, you know, Cake Wallet is used quite a bit, and the exchange part is very active, as you know. So I definitely expected some pushback, but um, not to this level and uh, and some of the nasty stuff. But yeah. Are you referring to me? You know, no, 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 not you. I mean, there's some. I was biting my tongue. I was biting my tongue the entire time. No, it's, no I, it's, the I mean, comment some... I made on the Reddit today was like, that's, that's where I really stand on this more than anything else is from right. day one, what you've proven with cake is your ability to listen to the community and pivot accordingly and i think right. i think you're just showing it again now uh with this i mean i like you know i love the idea of a monero only app so if that's what's going to spin out of this and be a part of this transition uh then i, I it's hard for me not to be excited about that and i think I'd have to think most people that are hardcore Monero people would agree. So I don't really understand what their gripe would be at this point. Um, 
I understood it initially, but I like I like the compromise that yeah. you're offering yeah. here. I mean, actually, tell you the truth, the Monero only app, the pure Monero app, is I think you and I have talked about it before. Uh, I think that was something always on our radar, and that's something we have been working on. Um, but the events over the last two days just I think pushed us to announce that earlier than we would have liked to. We probably would have announced it in January or so. Um, but now we've, you know, putting our focus on that and expedited um, delivering that app first before anything else. So what, I guess we should stay. So what is the current uh, scenario here? There's going to be three apps, correct? Yeah, that's what we're envisioning right now, as opposed said, you know, um, I think to get this Monero only app out first is a priority right now. Um, and then, um, you know, I mean, regarding the other, the coin, which we won't name, um, <laughs> the, you know, the grant came to us as, a, I mean, we did apply, of course, but the, we didn't think it would be coming now uh, in this quickly. And honestly, we don't know if their orchard or whatever the new upgrade is called. I don't even know if it's ready yet. That's something I have to check with them. I wanted to get an answer on that before this um, talk with you, but unfortunately, I didn't get an answer yet. So I don't even know when that's going to happen, honestly. Um, whenever you know, whenever they're ready, um, we can look at it at that stage. What was the impetus with adding Zcash for with you know? Well, for yes, imp impetus. I mean, I think I think it's a bigger picture. You know, um, you know, we added Bitcoin, we added Litecoin. Um, you know, Monero. We didn't take a grant for Monero. We didn't, we didn't take a grant from Bitcoin. We didn't take a grant from Litecoin. We we wanted to grow the wallet, um, have a wider audience for Cake Wallet, and this was just another. Uh, hey, this uh, this is kind of cool. It's privacy oriented. Sure, we can we can have the cryptographers argue back and forth about you know um, if the privacy is good or not. But it was more of hey, Zcash is doing it. It's a privacy coin. Nobody's ever done a you know shielded transaction only wallet. Um, that's something we can be different. Uh, we can do something that nobody else is doing. So that was the thought behind it. I mean, it wasn't anything, you know, I mean, all the re re reading the Reddit post, uh, you know, scam or we sold you guys out or any, all the, you know, all this crazy talk. No, it was, it was very, very simple. Hey, we, we, you know, we need to grow. We need to add, you know, another audience. We need to add another coin. Here's another privacy coin, which is, you know, like I said just now, that it was just doing something different than Monero is doing. And as a cake wallet, we can do something different than any other Zcash uh, wallets are doing. We can live just in the shielded transaction space in the pool. Mm -hmm. That was it. I mean, it was. Uh, yeah, I mean, I it wasn't. I, I, I you know, it was certainly understand why people because you know it, it, it even hit yeah. me right i mean i'm obviously a monero maxi right so there's, no there's no hiding that um <laughs> but, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a free market right you didn't have to come along and build cake in the first place and you did it and thankfully you figured out how to make it sustainable uh i know mm -hmm. you poured a lot of you know you poured your heart and soul and whatever money you put into it to get it going, but you've yep. seemingly turned it into a business that sustains itself. And obviously that's what we need to happen for this ecosystem to grow. Um, right. And for the community to then say, well, you should be doing this or doing that. Well, you know, the market will, will ultimately decide here. And, um, I think if you went off and just added it as Zcash into the original Cake Wallet and you didn't go off and create these, you know, the other Monero only, that niche would probably just be filled by somebody else. So it's, I don't see why anybody's complaining. And now the fact that you are doing it is great because now we don't have to worry about, sure, sure maybe somebody tries to even compete with you, but even better. Uh, and you, I'm sure you guys will continue to end up on top. And you guys have, you know, 
uh, become sustainable in a way where we know we'll, we'll continue to see the app evolve. Um, yeah, and, and from that sustainability, you know, we're, we're, we've been able to do a lot of things for Monero sure. and the Monero community. Um, for example, this show, right? I, I, no, I mean, you were doing the show before you, you, I jumped you know, in. Of course. Yeah, but, it, you know, it, it, it's, it helps. And I know you've done it with a lot of other podcasts, and that's just yeah. the tip of the iceberg. I mean, I know you. Yeah, and conferences, yeah. and we're always donating to CSs, CCSs or CS, whatever it's called. And, uh, you know, the bounties. Um, talk about those bounties, by the way. I just That sidekick thing is pretty cool. I think I'm going to donate some more money to that. Nobody seems to be donating. Uh, all these passionate Monero people and nobody's donating. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. Yeah, we're, yeah, I don't know. It's so you donate say, you, you donated that. already too, right? You're like, they're, uh, yeah, yeah. You probably we'll put just... the majority that's in there. So, yeah, anybody who's you're like, realize, realize what Vic is doing. Uh, he he wins if Monero wins, right? Is it fair to say you're, you know, you're, 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 you want to, I think, obviously... yeah, I think it's a symbiotic relationship. Yeah. I mean, definitely. I mean, and, uh, the Monero community has been good to me, uh, has been good to Cake Wallet, and I think I've been good in return. I think it's uh, it's been a win-win for for both parties involved, um, and I don't even see it as separate parties. I, I am part of Monero. I am the Monero community, you know, just as you are, just as sure. Seth is, or just as Fluffy Pony is. I mean, we're all part of this uh, this community. So are you Monero first? Can what, what's your answer? Of course, that? of course. That's always yeah. That's always the case. Yeah, you know I, I, I can vouch for you. I, I met this guy face yeah. to face when he first launched. You know, it was the whole the the New York meeting, the handshake. Right, right. I thought I'd go meet you for fifteen <laughs> minutes. We sat there for four hours. <laughs> like, but so, um, but I'm excited about this Monero only app. I think that's going to be exciting. It's, I'm um, very excited about that. So. What can we expect from that? Uh, have is there? Obviously, I don't think you know you have a roadmap, official roadmap. But roughly speaking, I mean, what's going to be the the theme? Or well, it's going to have it's going to have the same um, new features that you know Cake Cake Wallet would have had, and it's going to what is the, what is the mission of that app? Is it just to make Monero as user friendly as possible, as accessible? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And and you know uh, I think a lot of people like yourself are you know pure Monero maxis. You don't want any influence or mention even of a, an, another coin, maybe not even Bitcoin. So I think it's going to give you that that pure Monero experience. So I think I think it's needed from us from Cake Wallet. Yeah, and it's it's not even so much uh, you know just knowing that there's no other coin that you have to look at when you open the app, but it's just knowing that the app itself is just focused on that one thing right so that uh, yeah. there's, there's less room for potential error i mean cake wallet for me was really that sweet spot of using monero in the purest way possible holding your own keys no yeah. view key viewing your wallet uh you're losing some of the efficiency there like with my mm -hmm. with you know what we've seen with other wallets but you're it's usable enough where, and you're also using it in the purest way possible. And I, I think that's like every Monero user's dream, right? So I yeah, think yeah, as yeah. long as you guys continue to fulfill that, uh, it'll be yeah. pretty amazing. And, you know, to give up, uh, like you said, to give up the speed of synchronization, you know, your, your, you know, your view key's not going anywhere. Also, you can do a lot of, uh, things, I guess you can be more flexible. Like we can have accounts, we can have sub addresses, blah, 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 you know, and do some other various things with that type of, uh, type of structure than having, you know, light wallet. But again, I'm not knocking that. That's, I think it's, that's also a great solution. Now, um, obviously, but I think it'll be cool. I think it'll be very cool. The Monero only app. Definitely, man. Definitely. And then, so obviously, uh, atomic swaps is something that everybody's always, dreaming about being in a, in a Monero wallet. I know uh, you've, I think you made mention of it in the past that it might not yeah. be as easy as, as one thinks, right? What's yeah, your... I mean, yeah, we're still looking into it. I mean, as, as far as we understand, when you do an atomic swap, the wallet has to be listening um, for the multi-sig, you know, any, any action in the multi-sig uh, wallets, as I understand. So, 
you know, to keep the app open and the wallet open the whole time, I don't see that happening on iOS. Maybe on Android it's possible. But I think that's the challenge of atomic swaps on mobile. But we're still looking into it. Who knows? Maybe we'll find a way. I mean, we found a way to get Monero working on iOS. So maybe we'll find a way to, um, for atomic swaps to work on iOS as well. But having said that, decentralized exchange, you know, we're looking at ThorChain. Um, that's something we're in constant communication, you know, with ThorChain and trying to get that going as well. Um, and again, that's something we're funding. We, you know, we didn't um, we didn't come back to the community for funding. We said, you know, what, let's just let's just fund the development ourselves. So, I think something like the work chain would get integrated into the Monero only. I guess not, right? Because then it's there's or I, I don't know. I mean, what's yeah, Thor chain, Thor Thor chain, Thor chain, Thor chain can still work in the Thor, Thor chain can still work in a Monero only wallet. Yeah, I think, you know, just like just like before, you would have to just bring your own. Bitcoin address from another mm -hmm. from another wallet, for example, if you're trading with Bitcoin. Right. It's just a, it's just a, you know, like a now payments or, I mean, a, what's a change now, but uh, in a more decentralized form. And yeah, I'm sure people would be interested in that. Obviously, atomic swaps would be the dream. Right. Yeah. It would feel like, it would feel just like change now, you know, mm -hmm. um, you wouldn't be able to really tell the difference. Awesome, man. I'm excited. And so when do you think we would see the uh, Monero only wallet? Like, what's the uh, timeline with that? Trying to get it out by the end of the year. Uh, that's what we're targeting. You know, um, hopefully there's no hiccups or any major problems. But definitely um, by the end of this year. The wallet part, not ThorChain. ThorChain is still months away. So uh, by Monerotopia, we'll, we'll be using it at, at Monerotopia? At Monerotopia, at, the, at your... Uh, yeah, the, yeah, uh, Miami yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hey, remember last year, uh, you know, I was thinking earlier today, the Miami, this year we went, right? I mean, Cake Wallet had a, a Monero wallet. We snuck ourselves in there and uh, we sponsored a big dumpster. And then, you know, I invited you and, and a few of the other Monero community members and you even sneaked a show over there. <laughs> you know? And uh and it was great. I mean, we, you know, we gave away Bitcoin and we brought so many people to Monero. Um, we gave away, what, a thousand, uh, a thousand of those flyers, which... Uh, we, we gave, gave away, away, away a lot of fiat, that's for sure. The uh, the Venezuela, I mean, that was yeah. a tremendous hit. No, but it was very, yeah. very effective. I like it. You basically hacked the Bitcoin conference and you got exactly. Monero through exactly. the door. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and we greatly appreciate uh, you for you know having us down there. That was awesome. No, no, come on, don't be silly. Uh, but I guess the, I mean, that's not the point I was making. Was I mean, you're welcome. But the point I was making was, you know, we we sometimes we I don't know if we can just stay an isolated community. We yeah, have to yeah, be yeah. part of the bigger bigger cryptocurrency ecosystem, um, and we can argue it, you know, to what depth and range, but. Um, yeah, we have to go out there and play. We have to go out there and uh, meet people. And you know, if we're going to be true Monero maxis, we got to lure people in. We got to teach people. We, you know, yeah, like yeah. you're like you're doing, like Seth is doing. You know, you're you're trying to spread the word. And right. going to the Bitcoin conference was that. I mean, they'll probably ban me now after listening to this <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you're on this podcast yeah I'm, I'm hated in bitcoin land even the guns in bitcoin guys don't like me which i think is uh, great. like that's a perfect another perfect example of a nice bridge uh between monero and the rest of the uh you know crypto ecosystem so the fact that they're showcasing monero at their conference i think that that's amazing that's a, a major yeah. win for monero major one yeah. um yeah. Just anyone speaking there for monero uh yes seth i think is gonna oh, be seth is. i'm sorry okay they That's were great. gonna have us there as a media partner but i pissed them off on twitter i think i think i'll win them back over i think i think yeah. uh, i think we still have maybe time. i should maybe i should sponsor them yeah. <laughs> from the monero only wallet yeah. can, can we announce can we announce your sponsorship for monero topia oh sure of course yeah yeah, yeah greatly appreciate it. we were cheers thank you appreciate it 
we were holding, you were, you know, holding out on the announcement to see what you're going to do with, uh, with uh, Zcash first. With oh, I see wow. how you are. Yeah. I see how you are. We think you made the right choice here. So, uh, <laughs> feel dignity. Greatly appreciate now. associating ourselves with you. Yeah. Yeah. No, thanks, man. That that's that's big. Uh, you've always, like we said, you've always been a major supporter of anything that's happening in Monero. So, yeah. and and, with that, and that's not going to change. Uh, whether we had Zcash or Ethereum or whatever, I mean, our involvement in the Monero community and uh, our support for the Monero community, and, and we expect support back. Uh, that's not going to go away. That that's always going to be there. I do see people's like argument though, right? Obviously, we got to go out there. We got to play with it with other coins. You know, playing with Bitcoin yeah. makes sense one hundred percent, right? Because we yeah. want to get the Bitcoiners over over to us. Uh, playing with Zcash though is is a little. I could see why people might be concerned with that because it's like, here we are. At least me and many others have been greatly criticizing them for for various reasons, and now are we basically giving them the the stamp of approval um, by providing an app for them. Obviously, you know, it's Cake Wallet. It's not the Monero community. So I think as long as people can separate those and, you know, realize that there's Monero Cake and Zcash Cake, but I could see why people may have seen that as, well, are we saying Zcash is okay? Um, well, first of all, I didn't think we had that much authority on certifying um, privacy coins. <laughs> um, I mean, but I can, I, I can see how that can come off definitely, you know, um, but having said that the, you know, I would say 90% of our users are Monero users, maybe 10%, 15% are Bitcoin and very small Litecoin. And I think even the Bitcoin users use it for conversion or what have you. So, I mean, I would, I would imagine. I mean, the, the Monero community is very educated and uh, on on privacy and encryption and, and how this whole thing works. So, by putting Zcash and Cake Wallet, I don't think we're going to be fooling the Monero community into, you know, thinking one is better than the other or one is equal or anything like that. I think. I what I anticipated is the Monero community to say, okay, fine, whatever, but we're gonna continue using our Monero part of the wallet. That's how I thought the response would be, and maybe some minor pushback, you know, from some extreme regions of the community. But um, but yeah, that was that was my take. Um, but obviously, hearing all these arguments, which you just made. Um, that's why we decided to do what we announced today. Yeah, I think those arguments fall fall apart once you know you have the separate Monero wallet because then it's not really a concern. People can use one; they can use the other. I mean, what I what I dislike the most about Zcash right now there's there's a lot of things I, I don't <laughs> like about them, and uh, yeah. you know I don't see that changing. It I don't really ever see that changing because of just their history, and they can't really change their history. I just I think the the project is fundamentally corrupted because of you know uh, what they've been. But uh, what I don't like is that they're not completely like. So what is it? Halo is the is the new release, right? That's Halo gonna... Two or Orchard or something. Yeah. But it's like not completely open source, right? I had uh, I think it was Co that we had on here, and he was saying because we're talking about oh, you know, as Monero evolves, can it? it potentially adopt this technology if we actually see it working in Zcash and we come to trust it because that would be ideal. And my understanding is like not completely open source. So like we're the Monero devs aren't even able to start tinkering with it. And I, I don't know why, you know, it's just another negative check mark for them. Like why are they doing that? You know, like I, I don't know about that. I mean, I'm not saying it isn't. I'll, I'll definitely check and Get back to you, and Maybe we can talk about it on whatever. Yeah, uh, part of the uh, the grant, you know, get them to uh, agree to. Like, why why would they do that? I mean, it seems contrary. But are you sure? Are you sure about this? I'm fairly sure. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm fairly sure. yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I can't. I'm not gonna comment on it because I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but that's definitely. I'll check, and next time uh, you're doing a Monero Tokyo show, I'll jump on and fill you in, fill okay. the community in. <laughs> On that, I'm sure they love that. But, 
but why would we want to use their tech anyway? <laughs> no, of course we want to. We want to use what? Hey, maybe it's maybe it's uh, shit, but maybe it's amazing, right? And uh, the sooner we yeah, but- get our get our hands on it and start figuring out how to, or even just learn from it, right? On a on a deeper level, uh, maybe it's some version of it that's exactly yeah. i mean this is all this is what i'm talking about this right. is engaging that, that, with that all makes sense only if we have at full access to the technology right exactly i mean i think that's you know the way zcash has you know been like a company or not a company and you know it's it's vc money or no vc money or, or how it's run i think that's been the problem with zcash right um but you know, we were looking at it purely. We weren't looking at all that other stuff. We were looking at purely, like you just said, the tech and this, you know, living in a shielded pool, um, shielded transaction pool was, was seemed interesting. And I thought we could do it better than anybody else does it. Um, you know. What you, I mean, same reason which you just said right now, that, hey, this tech could be cool. Let's look into it. Maybe we can do it better than any other wallet. And that was it, man. That's it. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I get it. Yeah. You're not going to give it a, you're not going to shill Z, Zcash, Vic. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not shilling Zcash at all. <laughs> and then we're going to add Verge. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> No pirate chain, or is that already on the? I feel like that one's already on the list. Already on the list. Wow, wow, narrow, right? Were you, were you talking about adding uh, Wow Narrow? To wow it? Narrow. I was just everybody was you know one time on Twitter. You remember, I was getting like message after message after message one day. Yeah. Add Wow Narrow. Add Wow Narrow. Like God damn it, you'll get your Wow Narrow. You know, but there's no plans. There's no plans to add it right now. Not there's no. We haven't looked at it. There's no work. Monero. There's nothing. Huh? Not into the pure Monero wallet, or maybe some people would want it. Who knows? All right, man. Uh, well, you that's know, the other yeah. thing. You know, there's. Oh, go ahead. I'll just say another thing. The, yeah. the like, like you just said right now, it brings up a very interesting point. You said maybe in the pure Monero wallet, and you thought, well, I don't know how the community is going to take it exactly. So there's, I would say the the community has like four or five different sides. What I've learned over the three and a half years working, and each of those four or five sides want. Monero to be a certain way, and they're all very loud, you know. So there's you know, three different, four different, five different. I don't know. And obviously they overlap. You know, it's just not one person, one voice. I mean, I guess the only way to do that is to take a poll every time we want to do something. But just constantly listening to, basically, you know, yelling and and, and arguing on on Reddit is. Um, really difficult to decipher what everybody wants. Sure. Um, because like you're saying, you you might be okay with a wow narrow and pure Monero. You know, a big chunk of the community would not be okay. A big chunk of the community wants a standalone wow narrow app or big chunk of the community doesn't care. They're like, what's a big deal? It's, it's, it's fun. Let's have a wallet with all coins and all coins come there and they'll be introduced to Monero and it, it'll be fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah. No, you're always going to have that. But that, you know, with the yeah. with the three different apps now, you can have separate missions for each. And I think yeah. the mission for the Monero only one just needs to be really clear, you know, that it's exactly. there to make Monero as usable as possible in a pure way, right? Yeah. Uh, that only helps Monero grow. Right. Is that your, is that your mission statement? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I wonder, let me write that. Can you email it to me? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I guess the other thing to ask uh, with regards to the Monero only wallet, I know you talked about making it easier to buy Monero essentially directly um, from from your bank account. Is yeah, that um, work done. Yeah, we're still working on that. So I mean, that's always been the ultimate goal in Cake Wallet is to allow direct purchase of Monero with your debit card, credit card. It's a long process to do that because we're trying to do it ourselves. Um, you know, we're getting state licenses. We're, you know, making sure we cover all the whatever laws and regulations there are going to be that allow us to do this. So, but it's definitely in the works. I, we're getting closer and closer to doing that. 
we're probably going to launch in uh, select states, a few select states first. Um, but that's going to be in the Monero only app as well as Cake Wallet. Um, and so that that's going to be exciting. I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, you know, yeah, uh, that's that's awesome. That starts to really kind of close the loop there uh, for yeah. living the dream, getting directly into Monero. Yeah. How about with um, getting on exchange? You know, obviously we're seeing delistings. Yeah. Uh, is there you know anything positive that can come out of Cake working with Zcash to I don't know that translating into Monero being accepted on more exchanges? Is there any potential connection there? Right? Because Zcash has managed to uh, avoid, listed, the de- yeah. avoid the delistings. Right. Um, right. I don't know. Um, I, I mean, I didn't think of that angle, but um, maybe I, I, didn't, I didn't consider that. Um, yeah. You mean using Zcash's help to get us listed? Or? Whatever it may be, right? Like, I don't, I don't, I, I'm, you know, struggling with understanding why they're willing to accept one and not the, I mean, obviously there's all the yeah. reasons, right? Uh, there's Barry Silbert maybe owns a lot of, yeah, and the funny, cash, right? Yeah. And I saw, um, I think it was Justin that tweeted or on Reddit or somewhere. He said that um, Gemini allows shielded Zcash transactions. Right. So, which is strange, you know, if you allow that, why not allow Monero as well? Right. And maybe it's just because they pretend they're heavily invested in Zcash or something, but maybe, I don't know, that at some point, uh, maybe, maybe yeah. in some way and kind of uh, moving Monero onto onto the exchanges that Zcash, that already uh, hosts Zcash. Just a thought. Maybe. Yeah. But, you know, again, there's a big part of the community that wants us to be off of wallet exchanges. You know, yeah, so I don't. No that I, that I don't know ever. Right, that mm-hmm. I don't. I don't. I'm not on board with that one because you know it's like it's like you know sure if you can get your Monero without KYC whatever if you can mine it uh, that'd be awesome, but why yeah. prevent other people from getting it through centralized exchanges? Especially if it's if you're gonna have to buy a crypto on a centralized exchange, Monero would probably be the best one. So you can once you move it off, you know you're not tracked and traced thereafter. So. Yeah, by yeah. the uh, the arguments as to why it shouldn't be on exchanges. Right, I'm not that right. pure, I guess. What's that? I guess I, I'm I'm not that pure of a Monero maxi. If I'm um, I'm okay with Monero being on centralized exchanges, I yeah, think it's, it's it, good for people to uh, get access to it. Yeah, it, it's funny. I mean, you know, a lot of a lot of people use Cake Wallet obviously to go from Bitcoin, Litecoin to Monero, and one of the comments on Reddit was somebody said. Well, I'd rather get Zcash and then go to Monero because you're going because you can acquire Zcash at at exchanges, right? And you know it's definitely less traceable than Bitcoin is. So, you know, maybe going from a from Gemini, let's say a shielded Z transaction, going and converting into into Monero gives you more privacy than going from bitcoin to monero yeah definitely i thought it was kind of interesting yeah no, and no. i got shot down right away saying no it's not interesting <laughs> <laughs> was it by but, serious yeah. weapon there's that one guy on reddit the guy is oh my god he's he's i don't know he's i'm staying i'm staying away i'm trying to stay away as much as possible from reddit and twitter because it's just uh um life's too short all right man i know you had a long day and uh you long agreed, two days man. you agreed up. I'm like exhausted. Here. uh you were even like not sure about it because you're totally you know you be getting your ass kicked and i totally feel you <laughs> we got our ass kicked with the chris sky thing and um like i said we didn't we haven't put in uh you know we put in a lot of effort but man you've put in a ton of effort into the monero project and the community so i know how it feels when uh you get that beating so I'll let you go, Vic. I'll let you, I'll let you go relax. You know? <laughs> uh, All right, man. Greatly appreciate uh, the way you handled the situation. I think I think it's a great outcome. I'm, ex- I'm excited for the Monero only wallet. Good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. All right, buddy. Cheers. All right. Thanks for having me on. Yep. Thank you for joining us on this week's episode. We release new episodes every week. You can find and subscribe to the show on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you have an Alexa device, you can tell it to listen to the latest episode of the Monero Talk podcast. 
Go to monerotalk.live slash subscribe for a full list of places where you can watch and listen. If you want to interact with us, guests, or other podcast listeners, you can follow us on Twitter. And please leave us a review on iTunes. It helps people find the show, and we are always happy to read them. So thanks so much, and we look forward to being back next week.